Personal finance doesn't have to be complicated. In this video, I'm going to discuss the basics of personal finance and share some practical tips on how you can manage your money as a beginner. Many of you may be living on a tight budget, so it's essential to know how to make the most of every single penny. There are four key principles that I've been focusing on to improve my personal finances. Spending less than I earn, avoiding high interest debt, protecting my finances, making my money work for me. Now, I'm going to go through each point in more detail. Point number one, spending less than I earn. To maintain financial stability, it's crucial to make sure that your expenses don't exceed your income. So for example, if you earn £1,500 a month, you should aim to spend less than that. This might mean cutting back on non-essential expenses like dining out or buying items that you don't really need. Remember, every little bit counts, especially when you're raising a family on a lower income. I understand though that sometimes we all feel like a small tree, so it's finding a way to do these things for less money. Can you find a voucher to eat out? Maybe one of your reward schemes entitles you to a meal out like Tesco club car vouchers. This way, you can still do the things that you love without it affecting your bank balance so much. We discovered a cheaper way of having a takeaway and now we just order a main meal with no rice and then we cut the rice in the microwave when it arrives just to keep the cost down. We joke about it and call it packet rice. Or you can have a date night where you choose your favourite meal and then you cook it at home. It definitely works out cheaper with your wine as well. Point number two, avoiding high interest debt. So high interest debt, such as credit card debt, can be a huge drain on your finances. It's essential to avoid this type of debt whenever possible. If you find yourself relying on credit cards to make ends meet, try to look for ways to reduce your expenses or increase your income, like picking up a part-time job or selling items that you no longer need. Look into side hustles so that you can be debt-free. There are also sensible ways to manage your credit card, like swapping over to a 0% interest card. This way, your monthly payments chipping away at the debt as opposed to just paying off the interest. This will help you make a dent in your debt and you can start to pay it off. Number three, protecting my finances. An essential aspect of personal finance management is having a safety net in place for unexpected emergencies. Building an emergency fund of at least three to six months worth of living expenses can help you weather financial storms like job loss or unexpected medical bills. As a mum, it's crucial to have this protection in place just to ensure the well-being of your family. We're just about to spend over three and a half grand on an operation for my youngest son. He desperately needs his tonsils out and we can't wait on the NHS for a year because he's struggling to breathe at night. No, I don't have that kind of money left over at the end of the month and that's why it's so important to have some stashed away just in case something like this happens. Making my money work for me. Investing is an excellent way to grow your wealth and secure your financial future. Even if you're on a lower income, it's still possible to start investing in stocks or other assets. Begin with small, regular contributions to a low-cost index fund or a stocks and shares ISA and watch your money grow over time. If investing unnerves you, then it's putting your money in the right place. Make sure that you have savings that are getting a good interest rate. Sometimes it works out better to have the money in your kids' names because your interest rates are higher on a kid's saving account. Look around for the best deal and don't be afraid to just move your money around. Now that we've covered the four key points, let's look into the 10 specific steps that you can start to take managing your money better as a beginner. Step number one, set your goals. Before diving into budgeting or paying off debt, take the time to think about your short and long-term financial goals. Are you saving up for a family holiday, a new car, or looking to save some money for your children when they move out? It could be an extension that you're dreaming of or just home improvements. Setting yourself clear goals will help you stay focused and motivated throughout your personal finance journey. Step two, 
make a budget. Creating a budget is crucial for managing your money effectively. A budget helps you track your income and expenses, allowing you to make informed decisions about where your money goes each month. There are various budgeting methods, so find the one that works best for you and your family. Step three, establish a mini emergency fund. Before paying off high interest debt, consider setting up a mini emergency fund as like a financial buffer. This fund can help you cover small unexpected expenses like car repairs or appliance breakdowns without having to turn to high interest debt. Aim for an initial target of £500 to a grand and then build it up further once you've tackled your high interest debt. Step four, pay off high interest debt. Once you have a mini emergency fund in place, focus on paying off any high interest debt that you might have. Consider using the debt avalanche method where you pay off the debt with the highest interest rate first or the debt snowball method where you pay off the smallest debt first to gain momentum. Whichever you choose, make a plan and stick to it. Step five, build your full emergency fund. After paying off high interest debt, prioritise building your full emergency fund. Aim for three to six months worth of living expenses to give yourself a solid financial safety net. Having this fund in place will provide peace of mind knowing that you can handle unexpected financial emergencies without taking on new debt. Step six, save for retirement. As a mum, it's essential to think about the future and plan for your retirement. Even if you're on a lower income, contributing to a pension plan or retirement savings account is vital. If your employer offers a pension match, take advantage of this free money by contributing at least enough to get the full match. If I'm completely honest with you, this is something that I've been terrible at until this past year. I'm embarrassed to admit it, but because I've been self-employed for such a long time, it's something that I never invested in and I regret it. So learn from my mistake. Many experts recommend this rule of thumb. If you start your pension at 20, you should aim to be saving 10% of your annual income towards your pension. If you start when you turn 30, this will rise to 15%. And so at 40, it's 20%. Step seven, save for your children's education. If you have kids, saving for their education should be one of your financial goals. Start by researching the best saving options such as a junior ISA or a child trust fund. Begin saving as early as possible to maximise your time that your money has to grow and take advantage of compound interest. Step eight, Invest in yourself. Investing in your personal development can have a significant impact on your financial future. Consider taking courses or attending workshops to improve your skills. Make yourself more marketable or even start a side hustle to boost your income. Remember, your earning potential is your most significant asset. So invest in yourself to maximise it. Step nine, track your progress. Monitoring your financial progress is essential to ensure that you stay on track with your goals. Schedule a monthly financial check-in to review your budget, savings, investment and debt repayment progress. This regular review will help you identify areas where you can improve and make adjustments if needed. Set the same date each month so that you can monitor it properly. Step 10. Celebrate your wins. Finally, Don't forget to celebrate your financial successes, no matter how small they seem. Paying off debt, reaching a savings milestone or achieving a financial goal deserves recognition. Celebrating your wins will help you stay motivated and encouraged on your personal finance journey. These are your 10 steps to help you manage your money as a beginner. By sticking to the four key points of personal finance, you'll be well on your way to achieving financial stability and success.